This week on HomeKit News, the Pro Screencast 4K display adapter with AirPlay. So today we're looking at something slightly different from a company called Pro Screencast and their true 4K wireless display adapter. As it has AirPlay functionality, it's compatible with the Apple of course, but it also works with Android and even Microsoft Windows. Here are some specs, so feel free to pause the video. It's capable of 4K at 60Hz, can connect to 2.4 or 5GHz Wi-Fi, and comes with both an HDMI cable and a USB power cable. Let's now have a look what's in the box, and as already mentioned, you get a rather short HDMI cable, a USB-A to USB-C cable for power, although no power brick is provided, a small manual in English, and finally the streaming box itself. Let's have a closer look at the streaming box now, starting with connections. So on the back you get two ports, which is one for the HDMI cable, and one a USB-C port for power. At the top is a button to change the aspect ratio, which lights up in white when the device is powered. Around the top and bottom are a series of vents to enable cooling, and the device itself is pretty small at only 2.8 inches wide and deep, and just two thirds of an inch tall. The setup procedure is quite straightforward and doesn't even use an app. So once powered on, you go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone, and you should see the device's signal show up. Once you select it, you can open up a window in your phone's browser and type in the device's IP address, or better still, scan the QR code on the screen. You'll then see all available networks, so I'll select my 5 GHz network and type in the password to allow the device to connect to my network, whereupon it should connect fairly quickly. That's it basically. So with the device now ready, let's try out some simple AirPlay tests. If I go into the control center and select screen mirroring, you can see the Pro Screencast as an option. You can also see it as an option for AirPlay audio incidentally. I'll just come back out of that screen and go into my photo library and then select the Pro Screencast as an option in screen mirroring. You can then see the screen being mirrored directly on the monitor. Here are some pictures of our dog as a pup. He was around four months old at the time, and as you can see, the latency is pretty adequate. If I put the phone into landscape mode, you'll see it replicates that just as well. So landscape images look especially good when viewed in this way. So it's great for photos, but let's see how it does with video. I'll select screen mirroring again, so I can mirror what's on my phone, select another video, and as you can see, the video will play in full landscape mode and play well with no evidence of buffering. Although this is just a cheap 1080p monitor, the images do look clean and sharp. How does it cope when streaming from my iMac via Apple Music? To avoid copyright claims, here's a clip of one of my own music videos, and I select AirPlay from the menu at the top, and we're good to go. It all seems to work fine. Even though this device doesn't have its own app, the settings available via the browser offer lots of options including various resolutions, different screen positions, which we'll look at later, HDR options, a gaming or video mode, a ton of language options, and a power saving mode. There are two features I consider pretty unique for this device, with the first one being portrait mode. If I press the button on the device, and ensure my screen is also positioned in portrait mode, you'll see the screen switch. Now if I begin screen mirroring on my phone again, and go into my photo album, you get to see portrait photos in full screen. This also works well for videos recorded in portrait mode of course, and as you can see here, once again no stuttering or buffering is visible. Switching back and forth is just a case of pressing the one button like so. The second unique feature allows you to stream directly to the device without any internet connection at all. As you can see on the screen, the device is not connected to my network right now, and the Wi-Fi connection on my iPhone is also turned off. If I turn on Wi-Fi and just connect directly to the IP address for the Screencast Pro, then select Screen Mirroring and select the device from the list as before, you can see my iPhone is mirrored directly without any outside connection. 
I can now play video directly from my phone to the device as normal, which means if you want to use this without worrying about an internet connection, it's no problem. Of course, any media you want to play needs to be already on your device, but for things like showing a presentation at a client's office, you don't need to ask for their Wi-Fi credentials, for example. Finally, onto the pros and cons, and if you want to travel light, this is very compact. So much so that you could mount it behind even a small monitor without any issues. As it works with Android and Windows besides AirPlay, pretty much anyone can make use of this device. The portrait mode option is something of a specific use case, but it's still useful to have for some people, and the fact that you can make a direct connection between your phone or iPad and the streamer is pretty useful. That all said, there are cheaper streaming devices out there by Roku, for example, that even add HomeKit support and AirPlay 2, so it's down to the two special features I mentioned as to whether this will appeal. Finally, even though it's designed for a streaming video, as it's only AirPlay 1, it does mean you can't use it as part of a multi-room audio setup, which is something only offered by AirPlay 2. That's our overview of the Screencast Pro with AirPlay. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already, whilst also ticking the bell icon so you don't miss our next video. In the meantime, stay safe, and if you like rockabilly, do the hucklebuck.